What's up, y'all? I'm gonna show y'all step by step how to shape y'all berets. Do it. So the first thing y'all gonna do is we're gonna do a dry shave. So we're gonna move all the fuzzies. I like to take a towel and stuff it in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start just from the crown and go all the way down. Crown and all the way down. And this is not gonna be a short process too. This is gonna be something that's gonna take a little minute to do. Probably like 20 minutes. I wish honestly that they had this already pre-unfuzzy. Like I'd rather pay a premium service just for someone to have this pre-shave, not gonna lie to you. And as far as razor quality, I have more expensive razors. I just got a cheap one for the video. So you can get like a little dollar one. It's gonna get the job done. Cause you're not gonna use this on your face again. I mean, I hope not. I hope not. Y'all motherfuckers be dirty. Motherfuckers gonna be taking showers for three days and shit. So who knows what y'all do. I'm gonna do next right here. You're gonna take this tape. And typically your drill sergeants or whatever should have some tape available. Take this right here. I'm only gonna do it on the top part. You see all them fuzzes on there? So this is the next phase. We're gonna do a wet shave. So this is where obviously I'm soaking the beret. And this is a good way to kind of, really why I do the towel is kind of starting to get in the used to form to your head. Right here, crown it down. I shouldn't have to hit this as hard as I did my dry shave, but it's kind of just getting the rest of the fuzzies out. Before I start my shaving process, you're gonna cut this cardboard right here. This can really get a nice customized feel when you start to shape your beret. It's not, it's not gonna make it all bold and round. It's gonna be nice form fit on your head. So what you're gonna do is, put this right here. You're gonna put this, let it soak out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this over your left eye. You're gonna pull this, start pulling this to the side. It's gonna be nice and soaked, don't even worry about it. You're gonna start pulling this over your right ear but make sure when you do it, that this band right here is not dripping down. Like you're not doing this where it kind of go a little sideways. You want to make sure that you stay, make sure it stays on the same level. So you're going to have to keep adjusting it and grabbing this at the same time. And you're going to start rubbing it in like this. Make sure you're not, the elastic is not coming down while y'all do it. And don't be scared to pull this down though. So this is the first phase of me doing my beret. So the next phase, I'm gonna dry it and also store it as well too. I'm gonna show you guys how to properly do that. And for the sake of the video, just to make it real quick, I'm gonna have to hit this with a blow dryer. So this will dry out faster, but obviously when you're in basic training, you're not gonna have access to a blow dryer. So I'm gonna show you guys how to properly store without having any issues. So this is the next step to dry and store your beret. And also too, when you wet your beret, make sure you keep it on your head, just walk around with it so it'll form naturally on your head too. So this is next what you're gonna do. You're gonna take this off, take it off nice and smooth. And you see this gonna naturally fold and crease like this. And you're gonna make sure you keep that fold how it is. I took the towel like this and I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna lay it flat like this. And what I'm gonna do is simply roll it like this. Bam, nice and tight, press down. And make sure it's fully elongated as well too. Fold it down, press. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna take a plastic bag, like one of the stuff you get, and you're gonna stuff it in this one. You're gonna use your big bag too, not a small one. Put it right in there. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna slightly tighten this up. We're not going to fully zip it up all the way. Take all the air out. Like this. Let me sit on this real quick. There you go. See? Like that. Take this and put this on your bed for about 24 to 48 hours. So this is going to be the last final go about when we do this. So you're going to hit this one more time and get the last bit of... of fuzzies off. So we're going to soak this one more time. And we're going to do the same exact process. You see any, like any quick deficiencies, that's what you're going to shave off. So now I'm going to do one more soak. You should lay down the same exact, oh. Hot. 
It should almost lay down exactly the same. How quick? So you're gonna get this nice. Starting to look, it's starting to look a little official. Hold on, starting to look a little official. Hold on. I'm gonna look at y'all while I'm doing this now. Just keep patting this down. Bring it from the back. Give a little bit of illusion on there. So I'm gonna fully swoop this in, make sure this good. And I'm gonna lock, lock this down. big pet peeve with this right here because sometimes people still be like this they be looking sideways i'll be trying to make sure this is straight over my eye okay i think my braid pretty solid man let me know what you guys think and also too man if you guys were shaping your braid in the past man what are some techniques that y'all use when y'all shaping y'all as well like to know and i always recommend hitting this twice though because right here i like that this flap doesn't pop up anymore it kind of slays flat but let me know what you got your thoughts hit the subscribe button and i'm out go